Hello and welcome to the Indian Express special investigation on the Goa Corridor, which begins at the Mormugao Port Trust on the westernmost tip of Goa, cuts across this very picture postcard, very beautiful state, right up to the, and across the border into North Karnataka. Now, I have with me Smita Nair, uh, the Indian Express correspondent in Goa, who has been following this story. And today, I will ask her about this toxic train, which carries Smita 65,000 tons on a daily basis from the port across 352 kilometers into Karnataka. But what is this train? Um, what time does it begin in the morning, for example? Uh, what, what time does it leave the there, trust? There are no timings. Okay. Basically, you go by an average number that the port gives you. That is, for ensuring good efficiency at this stage, they have nine nine rakes mm -hmm. leaving every day. Now, it can be morning, it can be evening, but there's this uh, one stretch, which is the most difficult stretch, which yes. is the Western Ghats. Uh -huh. So they try to kind of pan it out in such a way that they can have engines available for them so that they can push the drags up and uh, it, on a good day they have also pushed 10 trains and there are days when they've pushed eight trains but there's every no, day every day but there's no schedule to it as such so the 65,000 tons is uh, the, it's, of, to, it's, of it's, coal it's, that they're carrying is across those eight or nine trains on a daily yeah, basis yeah. or and is it per train yeah and it's 34,000 I'm odd, so sorry yeah, it's 34,000 tons odd, uh, yeah yeah so it's over a period of over a period of a day and it's pushed like pushed through eight to nine nine trains yeah right and now, so this train that leaves the port um, in the morning and presumably acro and drives across the state, 350 odd kilometers, what does it leave in its wake? Your story talks about this very toxic train. So the, the problem that Goans face today, uh, you know, is about how these trains are covered by a blue tarpaulin, which is, uh, in, in their own words, is very medieval because they have, and, and it's very interesting because Goans have researched themselves. They are not relying on anyone. So when, when we went to the public hearing, they came with papers and papers of what other countries do. So there mm -hmm. are like these pipelines which carry the slurry or which th there are places where chemicals are used. So it's very interesting. So they are saying that if you are if you are trying to take a scale so huge, then ensure that you at least cover it so that, you know, they don't get disturbed. So what happens? The, the tarpaulin that's co that covers the, the trains or the, the cargo so the visuals, is not very tightly no, I mean, um, the visuals Tied show up. it. So we tracked, I think we counted 11 trains that we tracked over a period of a week. So uh, at some places, um, the, the breeze is so strong and also the trains at some points are, uh, you know, running at a very good speed. So the, the, they flap out, like, you know, the, the threads. The tarpaulin. Make, and, yeah, they flap out and uh, breaks. that makes it easy for the coal to escape. And the coal dust is not like iron ore dust, mm -hmm. right? Iron ore has a higher density. So coal dust actually flies much farther and faster as mm -hmm. compared to so, so then they, they seem to have problems with that and you talked about health problems I read about a family in your story today uh, the, the, the mother says that she needs to carry a nebulizer for her son all the time and when she asks her doctor for a prescription he refuses to give that that was a common narrative actually in most of the villages um, there are places, uh, there was this village uh, where the father actually went to his childhood friend who's mm -hmm. a doctor okay. and he still refused to give him a... But why are they so afraid? Uh, they, I, I have I have personally not understood why but I, I believe there are a lot of corporates um, you know, um, involved here. There's a government involved here so I, I, I cannot put a finger to it. So tell us the three corporates that um, run these, that, that basically own the coal which is then carried on these trains from the port to North Karnataka. So there are three importers. I mean, uh, we would yes. put it that way. The importers are Vedanta and uh, uh, JSW and uh, um, Adani. Right now, the major importer is JSW. Which is uh, Jindal. Uh, the JSW steel, yeah, the group. And mm -hmm. um, they actually uh, are looking at an expansion where they require 15 million tons. Mm -hmm. Right now, they have managed to import 11 million tons, odd, odd number. And um, Adani's are still to kind of expand, though they have started. And Vedanta is still waiting for the birth allocation, as you call it. But the corporates would also mean 
seen the the, the companies which are on the other side. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who are also importing through uh, berths which are available to Adani right now. But explain to me, Smita, the trains belong to the government. The trains have yeah. to belong to the state yeah, because yeah, we don't have yeah, any private trains yeah, in India. Yeah, yeah. But the coal belongs to the corporates. So, there so is, they're hiring the trains essentially. Yeah, yeah. So there's some there's some contract that they enter where they are they're giving haulage charges, uh, the port benefits, the railways benefit, and. Uh, Till Vasco da Gama, which is the first uh, railway station from Goa's end, mm -hmm. and probably if you're coming from the hinterland, then that would be the last uh, right. station. So till there, it is a passenger cargo uh, mix of trains. But from Vasco to Mormugao, it is just the cargo, uh, the cargo path. When you say passenger cargo, meaning there are people also traveling. There are there train. are passenger trains. No, there are passenger trains which okay. are there. So uh, and they, they're called the local trains, as mm -hmm. you know it. Yeah. So um, and also some of the trains go to other I see. states. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's a mix, mm -hmm. I would say. But from Vasco to the port, it's only the cargo rigs that travel. Right. And the people of Goa do not want this. They don't mind the uh, the the development benefits that would come with, say, for example, the import of coal or or any other commodity. But they want these corporates to take much more stringent action to so that they can protect their health and responsibility. And responsibility. So, what do they want? Um, they're saying that you can. Uh, it's again mixed. There, there's a huge section of people who say stop coal. In fact, the whole campaign has now got its name, saying Goa doesn't want coal. Okay. So, uh, Goa against coal. That's how they they have named themselves. But there's also a section which says that you can, like you know, probably import, but you have to have a limit to it like you cannot keep on expanding and make these projections and even if you are importing these numbers that you keep on adding you need to have a proper framework you have to have regulation which is they are, they are, they are saying this against the government yeah. and then they are saying that the corporates themselves should adhere to international norms mm -hmm. of, of and air pollution and, and things like that and also look to what the other countries are doing in, so when you ask the state government these questions that the Goa Pollution Control Board these questions what do they say so every uh, every uh, year they have in fact to be fair uh, come with uh, notices to these corporates uh, not all the three of them but right now they have issued notice to Adani and uh, Jindal say asking them why shouldn't we reduce your capacity mm -hmm. uh, there is a deadline given and I believe the corporates have to respond by that time and the second thing do you that, know when that is uh, so uh, they have been asked to give a straight answer by December because mm -hmm. right now it's a monsoon, okay. so even our visuals look very green, okay. right? But it's it's. So they're the giving them time to respond up to the end of December. End, end of, end of right. December, and also to adopt measures which mm -hmm. are given. So right now, the first thing that they have to do is that they have to bring the the height of the heat that is collected at the port limits. There is a prescribed limit, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we don't know. I mean, so at, this heap is the coal that has been imported, and it's now in a heap at the port inside trust. the port limit. So you have to bring it down uh -huh. to permissible limits. They are going to set the limits and things like that. And they've also been asked, what are the preventive measures you've taken as mm -hmm. far as what is the water sprinkling uh, methods adopted, or how are you correcting your facility and, and how are you tying the tarpaulin down properly yeah, so yeah. that it doesn't how, flap? The transport, all the yes. measures, and and most important being, what are you doing to bring the you know, the, there's an entire uh, index that they measure, air quality measure. What are you doing to bring the pollution levels down? So have these corporates responded? Have Mr. Adani or Mr. December, Gendal? December. But they haven't responded yet? Uh, that, is, that is a communication so between them and the Goa state country. So how long has this been going on? Well, this issue on ground is easily two years old. Mm -hmm. we, we have just taken a new approach to report it. This is something that has been going on for a while, but right now uh, the pro Protests have uh, kind of uh, maybe increased because of uh, dredging that has taken place uh, mm -hmm. at the sea. Uh, because the corporates want to bring more coal, and the port wants to also uh, take advantage of the growing steel, uh, you know, interest in Bellari. Yes. Together, uh, they have uh, gone ahead uh, with certain projections, keeping this in mind. Now, for 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 that amount of uh, coal to enter the country, 
you have to do dredging. Right. So that is one. And the second thing, why it is becoming more and more, um, you know, louder is that the railways are mo moving ahead. The tracks mm -hmm. have already reached uh, the, the border of Goa. So uh -huh. till Karnataka, they've completed double tracking. Okay. Because also the, the, the topography in that... Uh, but have they completed this double tracking so that they can carry this large quantity of coal? Well, that's what the Goans fear. And the, and from the from the state government and from the railways, they say that that's a need of the hour. We right. need it for passenger as well as cargo uh, trains. And you're ramping up development in any case. You're creating greater connectivity. So that's a that's a positive point in favor of the railways. Yeah, and, and they, they, they stand by that. They yes. stand by that. So because of the dredging, because they need larger quantities, so you're saying that public protests have so also become much yeah, louder. So it, it's, it's double tracking, dredging, and the fact that now notices have started going to uh, homes that, you know, uh, road widening is also going to take place. So it's like it, everything so is So are the people then, uh, are they coming together? Are they forming some sort of a coalition where they can jointly protest to the government? that this is how it's affecting our health. It's actually very interesting because um, uh, there's a social media group which is uh, which is very active. Mm -hmm. So what was stark is that when uh, in Australia the announcements were made about uh, the, the Adani uh, uh, project, uh, I think the most active social media group today would be that Goa Against Coal group where they keep on updating what's happening in Australia. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is that they have started going to gram panchayats and right. trying to uh, make, an, make them aware that you know you need to know what these projects are so they want to go deeper yeah. and get a lot more people involved yeah, yeah. and make them much more yeah. aware of this yeah. campaign that they are yeah. that they're holding and the last point is that uh, they also have a bunch of experts within them because mm -hmm. they are physicists and they're chemists and they are chemistry experts and uh, they, they keep on understanding the definition of coal and they keep on studying and right. you know there's an environment list there are lawyers so it's like a bunch of experts within themselves right. and they're fighting together and it's very fascinating so to see the so you're, you're seeing the beginnings of a people's movement yeah, yeah, as yeah, it were yeah yeah Smita, thank you so much for your time i'm afraid we'll have to leave it today but you will be able to read smitha's index investigative pieces on this goa coal corridor over the next few days and meanwhile i will be back with her to talk about the story a little bit more thank you so much for watching